no stopping us now. I love that song. G'day folks, welcome to Big V TV. Great to have your company as always. You lot have just got to stop setting me up. I've had enough of it. It's well, so you do the though. same thing every week. Well, it's, 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 it's like a robot. Well, you've consistency. got to have oh, consistency. Oh, it is. What would you rather me say? What would you rather me come and say? G'day fools, welcome to the show. I think it's nice of you both wearing red. What's that thing to do with it? I'm sure it's nice. You should have told me. Oh, we're, we're a bit matchy matchy today, are we? It's what parents do. You should have told me. Sorry. Thanks, right. Okay. Carry on. Because you wear something different every week, Cal. Division, yes. My boss is after every week. Division 2 show. Grand finals, game one down. By the way, I've got a little bit of a whisper for you. Ooh. Big VTV does not <laughs> finish with this show. There'll we're be not... many people disappointed to hear that. <laughs> I'm you don't have to watch. We're not, like, we're not holding a gun to your head. But, I, I just yeah. want to apologise on behalf of everyone that watches this show. Yeah. Because we're back next week. And we're back every week during the summer. <laughs> Big VTV, silly season coming your way. Forget about Kerry Packer and all that crap on TV. Silly How's season. How's that? Silly no. season coming your way. How's it going to be different to a normal show, though? Yeah, some would argue it is a yeah, silly season. Exactly. Yeah. That's a fair argument. Mm. D2 men, Grey Burn 56. Went down to Keysborough, 66. Did you swallow a frog or something? Well, uh, uh, right. well we, we Callum, uh, Callum and I, and the first time I've ever called you Callum, by the yeah, way. It's kind of weird. It's a bit endearing. It's a bit endearing, isn't it? Like my birth name. I said Callum and I, and Cal's gone, who's, who's Callum? Callum. Callum. It took Cal three years of working together. Cal and I, uh, we went out and we broadcast, we commentated the state champ women and state champ men's game, grand final games, last Saturday. Oh, did you? Did we, a good job of that? I, we did a very good job together. If we don't say so ourselves, the it was pretty good. The commentary was superb. The two people that heard the commentary, Cal and I, we really enjoyed it. <laughs> to all the people out there that logged on and watched it, glad you enjoyed it. We'll try and put some sound with it this week. The vision was awesome though. The I, vision I was good. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. No, I don't think it lagged at any. No, at really, all. The, really the, good. the only thing, the only thing I'm concerned about is this Saturday night, when you do hear the commentary, yep. people may ring next Monday and go, can you just go back to the vision only? Well, you're assuming I didn't have that teed up, so <laughs> it was silent, you know. <laughs> Getting back to D2 men. That's why the voice is a little bit. Okay. Craig Burn 56 went down to Keysborough 66. Eagles shot at just 26% at home in front of their home crowd. Can't do that. Much. Can't do that. I think Dennis McNamara said it himself. You can't shoot 26% and expect to win ball. They're now. a good defensive unit though, Keezy. Yeah. I had a phone call from... Craigie Boone on Who? Sunday after this Who's game. Is this a true story? Nah, true story. Got a phone call from Craigie Boone. Who? Anonymous. Well, I'm not going to tell you where it was from, right but of course, one of our Major favorites there, one of, one, no, one of our favorites is down at Craigie Boone. Walked in off the street, Eric Murphy. Oh, the Vagabond. Vagabond. After, our show, after our show last week, the amount of Vagabonds, buskers, mailmen, window cleaners, rubbish collectors that live in and around the Craigie Boone area that came down to see their pin-up boy. Amazing. They rang up and thanked me for the crowd. They said it was incredible. <laughs> window cleaners. The amount of window cleaners in Craigie Boone is incredible. Can you imagine if this was the first show you had ever tuned into for the whole season, you'd be going, what is he talking about? Taxi drivers. Eric, the amount of taxi drivers in Florida's, The young guard. He's a pin-up boy. Street. Walked and in. Uh, walked in, saw him shooting around, he's now got a game, there's your feeling, and he's like one of the best players in the comp. Walked in off the street. Thanks for the backstory, That's right. Cal. He walked in so off the street. Yeah. He was repainting the lines in the car park. <laughs> okay. Walked in for a break. He was nice. And he shot the basketball round for an hour and he was in. Anyway, we're glad we pumped up the crowd and we've got a big crowd there. That's it. Hello to all of our window cleaners. We'll and take full and responsibility, will we, for them? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, the Eagles went 2 of 20 from the arc. The Cougars went 9 of 28 from the arc. 9 of 28, sorry. That's okay. The worry for the Cougars. If I shot 9 of 28 from the season. If you shot 28 for this. <laughs> yeah. The worry for the Cougars. Here's the worry for the Cougars. Are you listening? Are you oh, with me? All ears. They won the He's game. Totally focused. Well, they won the game, but they just need to rectify this during the week down there with Vody. Okay. 9 of 19 from the foul line. Ooh. It's not good enough. You know how I feel about this. Well, tell the good folk down at Cougarland how you feel about it. You just got to settle in. Well, look, they, they won the ball game, so let, let, yeah. this is, you know, just an added bonus. Yeah. But 
not getting free throws. You want to be shooting at seventy percent. I think is a reasonable clip. Well, what have you got to do? What did you? What, how well, when do you, you get to the you, line, here we go, here you we need go. to block it all out. You need to settle in. Insight. You need to get comfortable. Insight. All right, just get, you know, just get your stance right. Go through your routine, yeah, and yeah. just don't think about it. Just shoot the basketball. Yeah, just shoot. That's all it is. Question for you, Cam. Yep. What are you shooting from the line this season? <laughs> I shot sixty-one. Well, shoot better than that. What's even worse is you know that. Uh, Robert Austin, uh, Robert Austin, <laughs> yeah. the, uh, the big boys to 13 and 16 for the Cougars. He was the, still got game. He was the only Cougar in yeah. double digits, by the way. Yeah. The only Cougar because in double digits. Oh, by committee. Doing it by committee. Oh, by, by committee. By committee. Yes. Twice. Kane McNamara, 13 points for the Eagles. Okay. Robert Toller Bond, as we know, RTB. We're very, very close to him. Been there for a while. 11 points. Kane stood up to some. Stood up to some. A little bit of, uh, a little bit of, uh, you know. Bit of this? Bit of this? Okay, said yeah. this. Yeah. He stood up strong, the young child. Nearly that that whistled by your nose, didn't it? That was very close. Just measured. Well, what do you mean he stood up to a little bit of. Uh... That's all I'm saying. Well, what happened out there? It's finals of basketball, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 The Good. stars. The stars. The illegitimate son was held to eight points. What happened? I'm going to have a few words with the boy this week. Oh, he's going to have a few words this week. Because it's a team game. Yeah, he but that's not, uh, that's not how my boy game. plays. It is about my boy. <laughs> I reckon that is how your boy would play too. I just, I believe parents parents that's syndrome. How play. I just reckon, Vody, set your offences up. I'm telling you now, you go through my boy. Right? There's no other way. Set your offences <laughs> up through him because you're not using him enough and he's got to get some more shots up. He's been warned. Okay. If it doesn't happen, I'm pulling him. I'm just saying, <laughs> I won't be pulling him. So even though, they got, the, son, mate, even though they got the win, you go down for that. Even though they're one game up in the grand final series, you're still not happy well, with this this kid that you had never even heard of before this season, and now suddenly well, he's your child. Can I just say Come he's on. ours? He's from he's Nelson, ours, by the way. He's from Nelson. And can I just say we could be open offers at the end of the season? I'm disowning him. He didn't even score double oh, figures. Oh, wow, here we go. Only parent uh, syndrome. Hey, the man off the street only got eight points in this game as well. I would have expected a bit more from the man off no, the well, street. No. They need him to fire this week. Chances are they were against each other. What do you reckon? Well, you know, they, each yeah, other. I don't think so. It's well, Pizzi do Good one of the job. best jobs Seriously. at scouting other teams, you know, Note for note, and I think they've done a good job on uh, on Mira Flores. What's even funnier is when Fody drops those notes in the change rooms after the game, and we pick them up and read them like last year. <laughs> How good was that? That was very good. Very good. <laughs> game two, Saturday, six p.m. Yep. at the home of the Cougars. This is the home of the Keezy Cougars, Bond Beach Stadium. That's where they play, isn't it? it is. Motherland. Absolutely. Yeah, Chelsea way. Uh, six p.m. Saturday. Yep. Is Chelsea anywhere near Keys, bro? No. I don't go down that way no. too often. No. It isn't? No. You, you've got to take a home where you can get it. Do people live down at Bomb Is there houses in that at Bomb Beach? Yep. Yeah, there... all around it. Yeah. Oh, there is. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. Is there a beach near Bomb Beach? Funnily enough, yes. Okay, yeah. it's about five minutes. Saturday, 6 p.m. is the game. Uh, if it's needed on Sunday, it'll be 1 p.m. It won't be needed. Do they have lighting at the stadium at Bomb Beach? It's a little dark. It is a little dark. Yeah. I'd just like to announce yeah. the referees of this contest. Oh, hallelujah. Okay, well, I was supposed to do it last week. Justin you Nelson. Were supposed to no, failed to recognise the to get achievements back, yeah. of some of the best referees. Big V oh, have the offer. They've failed. earned this place in the grand final, failed. and I think they should be recognised. The funny thing is, if anyone watching right now has watched the championship show and the D1 show, they know right There's now. There's got to be only two. They three know three right now show. you're trying to get yourself out of trouble because you stuffed up. You Just stuffed because you talk more week. than me doesn't mean no, you're no. right. Who are they? referees? Caitlin Lamont and Mark Longworth will be officiating these games. So they've already got one. Mark. Caitlin and Mark. Uh, Caitlin and Mark, sincerely, apologies. This guy was From supposed, Justin Nelson. This guy was supposed to mention it last <laughs> Absolute week. Absolute contempt. And he actually wrote on the back of the piece of paper that we gave him last week and we apologise. It's you a know. fair achievement. Referee the year. Absolutely. It's a great achievement. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great achievement. Yeah. I just think it's very, very poor that you didn't do it last week. Shut up, Justin. All-star centers. Here we go. The shortlist for D2 men all-star. And I know you don't follow D2 men or women that much. Why? Well, you just don't. You I don't. enjoy it. Oh, no, you go, I'm, in, I'm in D1. I don't really care. You all-star might find center. yourself back in D2. You never know. Corey Collier. Jeremy Jukes. You know who he plays for, don't you? I do know who he plays for our boys. Shane Maroney. Yep. Who are you going for out of those three? I think Collier's an absolute shoe in there. Jeremy Jukes. Oh look, I think there's always going to be a spot in my heart <laughs> for Juxy. Have you seen Juxy play this season? Well, I have, I've been in I've seen him play a lot of every week. Has he been good? Yeah. Come on, has man. He's he been, been solid. Has he been 17 points and 14 boards good? Oh, that's a good call. 
Yeah, Corey Kelly made you super close to Coach of the year, here we go. Dennis McNamara. As much as it hurts. Dennis McNamara. From Craigieburn. Very good at recruiting people off the street. Very good. He walks the streets of Craigieburn just looking for golf. Some say that. What are we going to say then? I was going to say, yeah, they just fall into his lap. Well, they do. He gets plays off the streets. It's not bad, it? is it, though? Corey Smith. They didn't even have tryouts in Craigieburn. They Corey just... Smith. Yep. Uh, and Craigieburn. I, I, Craigieburn? I, well, I do hope I pronounced his last name right, too. Yeah. Nathan Vogt. Where's he from? Is it is it pronounced Vogt or Vogter? Vogt, I think. <laughs> it's it's Vogt. Is it really? Yeah, it is. I was Vogt. Drew Solowich. He's going for his 17th Coach of the Year award back to 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 back. I think it's third, and he is our boys. One of our boys. Aaron Christian. He's done a good job, hasn't he? Down in Melbourne. I like him. Yeah. Absolute turnaround. I do, actually. You got Aaron Christian. Yep, he's, yeah. he's yeah. got all these old Melton boys back together. Yeah. They've had a great season. Despite not being in the grand final, I think it's actually. The whole club's turned around. Who does Drew Solowich coach? No, I know. He's second. I'll it's tell you what, Vody would be sitting here watching this right now. He wouldn't be happy with you two. He'll be sending you texts, no doubt. You've been his best mate all season, and now you've just jumped off the vote mobile. I thought it was Vogt. Vogt's been bogged. V O T. Okay, here we go. <laughs> MVP, here we go. Jordan Harding. Oh, yeah. The busker. Eric Miraflores. The window washer. The vagabond. <laughs> the mailman. Eric Miraflores. <laughs> Corey Collier. Jeremy Jukes. Jordan Kirk, the soft drink. And Dave Smith. I think I've got that Smith down pat now. Is it S M I T? No, I T H. And T H is a. It's a so. And S and M is a sm. It isn't Rolf the most common name, according to you guys. Well, yeah, I just. We've got a lot of different names here. I just got to make sure we get. Don't offend anyone. No, we're going to get Smith right. I think we've got it right. Okay. Bogged and. So Harding, Mira Flores, Collier, Jukes, Kirk, and. Smith. It's no, Dave. Dave. Just go Dave. 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 He's going to win the Mira. MVP. Jordan Harding. Mira. Jordan Harding. Mira. He's been a boss. Oh, I've got to go with the busker. Yeah. Off the street. So we're agreeing. Oh, I'm going to change the tip then if we're agreeing. What are you yeah. trying to say? Huh? Who are you going for then? Oh, Dave Smith. Outside chance. Don't you guys think it's an absolute joke that uh, Alistair Granger didn't get a look in there? Oh, very much so. We're not happy about that at all. Thanks for pointing that out. I didn't even know. That's <laughs> no. rubbish. If Dave Smith That's does... it. I'm writing a letter to the league. Just like <laughs> everyone else does if... when he doesn't get nominated. If Dave Smith does get the award, can you just make sure that you spell it correctly on the award? <laughs> we'll give it a crap. <laughs> right. we'll, look, yeah, if we've worked yeah, out how to point. spell Wandsborough after three years, I think we'll be able to spell it. <laughs> yeah. Did you get it wrong a few times, did you? Yeah. D2 women. Here we go, Coburgs. Oh, by the way, uh, Keezy or Craigie Broom. What's going to happen this week? Uh, get the brooms. 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 Yep. Done. Yeah. Yep. No chance, Craigie Broom. No. The margin will increase. The margin will double this game. It'll be 15 double. points. It'll only be 15 points. So you'll 20. Yeah. 20 and 15. Mm -hmm. yep. No chance, Craigie Broom whatsoever. Nope. No. What do you think? Well, I think the taxi car procession will come down from Craigie Burn. I think the window wipers will be down there again. They travel. Don't worry, they travel. you will be like, no, no, and they'll be like, huh? They travel. I've got a question for you before we move off that game. How would either of those teams go up in Div 1? Oh, it'd be it'd be a tough initiation. Very tough. I saw Keezy, I saw Keezy and Horsham last week. Mm. Um, it'd be tough. It'd be very tough, I would have thought. It's, a big, it's a big jump. Big jump. D2 women, D2 men, up to D1. Massive. It is a big jump. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I'm going to go with Craigie Burn to win Saturday night. Mm. Keezy to win Sunday. Okay. <coughs> Three okay. games. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta try and spice. Listen to you two. Oh yeah, Broom, so you're getting me out. But you get upset that. when we're not so As definitive done. about it. We finally just. Put our foot down, and you're still not happy. You've gone to three in just about every other series. We had what two games that went to a third game? Two series went yeah. to a third. Yeah, yeah. Total, total disrespect for Craigie Burn. That's what it is. I'm with your Eagles okay. on Saturday night, <laughs> and well, then I'm going to stab you. They had an awesome season to get yeah. there, but. We just think he's No, I'm with no, no, I'm going with Craigie Burn Saturday night. Did two women? Then I think they'll get their backsides kicked on Sunday. Coburg 74 defeated Cranburn 65. Mm. The Giants won it with a 26 to 16 second quarter. Giants shot yeah. 43%. That is almost, almost within a whisker in D2 women of being unheard of. 43% mm -hmm. <laughs> actually is. Yeah. 
The cab shot at 31%. Which is still a good question. That's stock standard. Yeah. yeah. Steph Belbass is 14 points. Belinda Campbell, 12 points. Stacey Prochak, 12 points. Corinda Farrant, 11 points. Alex Keats, 21 and 9. Two first names, Lara Pauline, 14 <laughs> points. Oh, I like two Pauline, first names. Pauline, Lara. I like where well, you could call it. So I just get mixed up because she has two what? first names. It's, it's not Lara, by the way, it's Laura. I actually pronounced that wrong. I thought it was Pauline. Laura Pauline. Is it Laura Pauline? Laura Pauline. 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 You're telling the story. I thought it was Pauline. I thought it was Pauline Lara. Two first names, 14 points. <laughs> Mocky, four points, seven rebounds. The big story here. Well held. The big story here is on Sunday morning after this game, Mocky headed out to Tullamarine. Is this true? And said, see you later. What's your source? She's gone. Okay. She's in the States. Yeah. Are they going to... Well, go on, tell everyone. You, think, no, they, you think they're flying her back for this weekend. I'm asking Is that what you heard? Are you sure that that's what happened? Well, are you sure she flew out to the States? Well, where did she go? I've got Bali? no idea. You're telling me she went to the airport? Oh, she's she's, she's, gone, gone, to she's, and she's gone to play college basketball in Guam. How do she... you know that that is true? You know Guam's the same time zone as us. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> There is Guam, by the way. I don't How know. Do you know that? I don't know because when you look up Australian Eastern Standard Time, it comes up with, you know, like Guam. Guam. Yeah, good. That's good, mate. Class fact. Full of useless information. I believe that Mocky has exited stage left. Let's Go on. Look, leave the negatives alone. Let's talk about the positives from this game. Two young ladies, one from each team, stepped up massively. Did yep. she ask me a question? Yeah, but I don't know. Do want I think she's answer. gone? I'm just... Yeah, because you know she's oh. gone. Why ask me a question when you know the answer? I'm asking. You haven't answered the question. Yes, I think she's gone. How do you know that? Because I'm smart. Really? Yep, that's it. Okay. That's new. Yeah, it is new. <laughs> I've been that's smart that often. <laughs> it is it anyway, back to the game. Yeah. Because the game's bigger than one player, Absolutely. is it not? I think I know because Mocky was saying goodbye to everyone on Saturday night saying, see you next season. See you when I get back from the States. Oh, okay. That might have something to do with it. And you were there. Great What's job, that? Coburg, <laughs> on a fantastic win. It was a sensational win. As I started to say, yes. before I was very rudely interrupted, two that. young ladies stepped it right up. Steph Bell basis for Kobe. Very had an good. Awesome game. Possibly slipped under the uh, scouting radar. report radar. There. Under the radar. Yep. Yeah. Sensational game. How did Hillary Duff go? <laughs> did she play? Courtney. Oh, Courtney Duff. How did Courtney Duff go? Did she oh, play? She's, she's a PG. Oh, she's forgot a Hillary she's Duff. A PG. She's been so. often appear in stats lines, do you? Well, it's not look, that who was the other girl, by the way? I don't want to take away from the other player you're about to mention. Alex Keats for Alex good. Keats was very good. Massive game. Yeah. Massive. 20 points, I think, wasn't it? 20 uh, points, 20 20 points. Yeah. So Mocky's gone to the Australia. US. She flew out Sunday morning. She Allegedly. won't be there this week. Saturday night, 7.30 p.m. at Cranbourne Basketball Stadium, the home of the Cavs, the Vidigar Dome. Yep. If needed, Sunday's game will be at 1.30. I don't know that there will be too many cars in the car park on Sunday afternoon. I think it'll be all over Saturday night. It'll be only there for domestic or domestic. Ten pin bowling. Oh really? Yeah, well, they've got a bowling centre there. Yeah. yeah, that's where Cranbourne train. The referees now don't. Don't. Come on, here we go. <laughs> the referees that have been awarded the Grand Pulse series have already knocked down the first game. You'll shut <laughs> the hell up. Hey, you've got to be careful. I'm, I'm really... Yeah. Yeah. Get the dead off. Yeah. Um, Nicole Thompson and Andrew Campbell Maple stuff. back. Great job. Who are they? Uh, Andrew Mableback and, and Nicole, Nicole Thompson. Thompson. Well done, congratulations. Phenomenal job. Yeah. Referees yeah. of the Year. And they are going to pick up some awards Sorry, what? No, just at the awards night. Oh, can, great everyone, segue. can everyone see that at the moment? The awards no, night? No, it's still. Yeah, good. No, no I've got Parkinson's. <laughs> Seriously, I've got a tremor. I can't hold. I'm lucky I'm not a surgeon. You probably just need an off season rest, Cal. You'll be right. I think, I think that's it. Maybe too much coffee. Maybe. Wow. All Star Centers. All Star Centers. <laughs> Yep. D2 women, I was going to say something, but I won't. Thank you. All-star centers, D2 women. <laughs> Renee Mocky, Sophie McAllister, Brittany Archdeacon. Who gets the all-star center? Would you like, really? some, would you really? like some time to think about this? <laughs> yeah. Take some time out to think about it. Who do you think will win? Oh, I need longer than that. Oh, okay, sorry. Mocky. <laughs> <laughs> Mocky, Carry on. Please, Mocky might get it. I think we've probably uh, so had the trophy engraved from about round ten. Can we? Can we? Have uh, fun trying to spell her last name on the trophy, by the way. Because it's M O double K Y. Well, we get Smith wrong, so we might struggle with this one. Can we get? Um, can we? Like get vision? Can I fly over and present it to her in the US, or can we get vision? Because she's in the US now. Can You're we assuming get, that. So what are you going to pay for? That? Will we fly over there? Else to fly over to the US? I'll, I'll go over there and give it to her if you want. Really? I'll present to her. Yeah. You are so good to the league. Coach of the year. Thank you. Coach of the year, Adam Holden. Yep. Carl Mas from Blackburn. 
Carl Mas Ma Machiti or Masiti? Masiti. 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 Mark Holman. Cranbourne. Kim Round. Melbourne Uni. Mm. Paul Beckett. Okay. Where's Paul from? It's from Mornington. From Mornington. Mornington. Has Mornington re signed their coaches yet? or? You keep talking about this every week. Hey, can I just send out a cheerio? Sure. Because we haven't done it for a few weeks. Okay. We haven't forgotten about you. Pete from Mornington, you're a gun. <laughs> you know, Pete. You're a gun, Pete. We haven't forgotten about you, mate. The fact is, we just got sick and tired of talking Carl about you. Carlos Mercedi from there. Maybe that's actually Pete Beckett, not Paul Beckett. Oh, here we go. Alias. Oh. I knew that, by or the way. Or it could be Paul's dad. Who, Pete? Yep. Yeah, could be. Who's going to win Coach of the Year? Machete. Oh. <laughs> machete. The machete. The machete? Yep. You think the machete will get it? I reckon the machete will get it. Who do you reckon? Mark Holman, rookie coach. Yeah, exactly. I'll tell you what, Kim's rookie been... Rookie coach, rookie team, bang, top of the ladder, make Kim... a grand final. Kim's been around. <laughs> Kim round? She's been around for a while. Kim round? She could get I it. I love Kim round. She could get it. <laughs> MVP, here we go. <laughs> Lauren Hall. Belinda Campbell, Mocky, Kira Beswick, Alexandra Keats, Marie Devine. We know what's on her side. Tegan <laughs> Rolfe. What Devine intervention? <laughs> Tegan Rolfe. No mention there of two first names, Lara Pauline. No. Hilary Duff's not there. That's all about Mocky down at Cranbourne. Yeah, it is. Does anyone else play for Cranbourne? Yeah, heaps of people. You get Alex you, Keats is on the shortlist. You get in trouble for us talking about one player of Cranbourne, <laughs> don't you? Well, I, I think get in trouble for that. I get in trouble about so many things. Well, I think it's mocky, but if anyone's going to challenge, it's Kieran Beswick. Um, or Tegan Rolfe. Or oh, Rolfe, yeah. Yeah, Belinda Campbell's been all over this season. You don't she know. She has, but hey, she's had a really, really solid lineup around her. Yeah, she has. Yeah. Yeah. She's been okay. Yep. Uh, Marie Devine's had a good season. Yeah, that's Rip nice. Yeah, they've all had good seasons. They've all had good seasons. Mocky's had a great season. Mocky gets it. Mocky gets it. Probably rough. Surely. Hey, don't forget, for those that have any interest <laughs> whatsoever, and we don't blame you if you don't. No, we really, really don't. Big VTV silly season starts next week. Rumours. Looking forward to it. Oh, season rumors shut up. Innuendo. We could do a bit of anything, really, couldn't we? And if there's what? no rumours on the table at the time, We'll, we'll just, just Google them. Up. We'll just make, yeah, we'll we'll make just it up. Google. We'll have some yeah. fun. Silly season starts next week. Enjoy the grand final series finishing yes. this week. Thanks we're, for joining us. We're all going, yeah, thank we're you. all going Coburg. Yeah. Yeah. And we're all going Keezy. You guys in two, me in three. Yeah. yeah. Have a Coburg great. in two? Coburg three. in two. Oh, two. Yeah. Two, 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 two. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Clean the vinegar dome up. Get the brooms out. See you next week. They don't have brooms down there. What do they use? Vinegar. Oh, okay, fair enough. See you next week. Ain't no stopping us now.